Hi all, welcome back to the Retro Asylum Lockup. I'm Dean Swain, and today we're going to be taking a look at a real genuine classic. It's back to school on the ZX Spectrum. So, having managed to steal your school report during the last few school days of term, you've spent a whole holiday forging teacher signatures and handwriting to make yourself look like the brightest, sweetest natured, most helpful little soul ever to carry a satchel. Dunk! Ouch, that hurt. So, yeah, you're not an angel. In fact, you're playing you, or whatever you want to name your character. This is such a great game. Guys, I can't tell you how much I used to play this game all the time. Uh, back when it was originally released. This is really, this and its uh, predecessor, School Days, are the original free roaming games. You know, before Elite even, I think this was out. Such a great game. Uh, basically, the idea is you've got to get a combination code so you can put your fake school report into Headmaster's safe. And to get the code, you need to trick the teachers into revealing the code. Each teacher knows a different piece of the combination. So, as I said, it's a free roaming game. Down there in the little red box, it tells you where you should be. At the moment, it's playtime, so you can go wherever around in the school. And, uh, yeah, that will change. You'll hear the bell go, or at least the beeper go, because it's the uh, 48K's beeper. And that tells you what lesson you should be in. Now, I've just got to point out that this is a hacked version I hacked it myself when I was about 15. I've put a lot of swearing in it. In the original game, you can change the names of the cast, all the teachers, the pupils, etc. But uh, in this version, a bit of swearing does creep up on the blackboards. I apologise for that, but I've recorded over the original version, stupidly, so uh, I couldn't be bothered downloading it. I just loaded it up by tape, because we are playing it on a genuine... 1 to 8k spectrum plus so yeah this honestly it's uh it's an amazing game to think that this was fitted into a 48k machine there's so much going on at once the whole school wherever you travel you know there, there's classes going on teachers are talking they're writing stuff on the blackboard and there's so much you can do there you just saw me pick up a water pistol you can open your desk up and there's certain things hidden inside them there was uh, a rat that I caught you can take that over to the girls school and let them go and all the girls and the headmistress start jumping on desks screaming it's just you know it's one of those games like all good free roaming games you don't have to follow the storyline the most fun you get out of it is by doing your own thing. And that is causing havoc. Getting your classmates into trouble. So, as you can see, I'm getting lines. And basically, if you get more than 10,000 lines, you get expelled and it's game over. And you can go to the girls' school and you've got... A girlfriend there called Hayley, or I might have called her something else in this. Um, I don't think her name will pop up on screen. It's probably whoever I was dating at the time I've named her after. It's kind of childish, but there you go. Yeah, you go and see her, and you press K to give her a kiss, and she will do some of your lines for you. I think it's around 100 lines. But she'll only kiss you a few times. If you take liberties, she gets the ump and gives you a slap. So here, as you can see, I've got the water pistol, and I'm trying to fill up these cups. Now, the reason I'm doing this is because you can fire at, I think it's the middle cup, and you hit it, and it splashes water out. And if the water goes over a teacher, it stuns them, and they tell you a part of the combination. So as you can see here, I'm in class. Mr. Eyesight. I named all these uh, teachers after uh, teachers in my school, the nicknames they had. 
can't remember why. It's obviously, uh, yeah, we had a teacher with bottle bottom glasses, I think, for our science teacher. So that's how he got the name. So what lives in a lodge? Please, sir, I cannot tell a lie. It is a, it's a badger, isn't it? A beaver. I got that wrong. <laughs> what lives in a halt? Please, sir, I cannot tell a lie. I doubt if we'll ever find that. Have that, you little posh git. I love it. Yeah, you're armed with a catapult. You can write on the blackboards. I've got to give the site a mention, haven't I, in the podcast. Ah, oh, I've pressed the wrong key. That was meant to say Retro Asylum is still cool. Not at all cool. Which doesn't make sense whatsoever. So yeah, it's crude looking. It's crude sounding. You know, the beeper effects, the graphics. Although I think they, to be honest, I don't think the graphics are too bad. The, the scrolling's a little bit wonky, but... Like I said, for how much game there is fitted into this, I think this is a, an amazing achievement. But it's such a fun game to play because you can just go around hitting kids, uh, knocking teachers over, bunking off a class. You can get stink bombs, frogs you can chuck about. It's just a funny game. There you go, a little bit of swearing. That wouldn't have appeared in the original version. You're all in detention until I find out who is making rude phone calls to the Latin master. I don't even think there is a Latin master in the game. <laughs> Never mind. Right, where are we off to now? Playtime again. So, let's go over to the girls' school, I think. Should we head over that way? Yeah, apologies for the uh, the language popping up on screen. That's the caretaker, Albert. You end up dropping a conquer on EZ at some stage. As you can see, the, uh, the gate to the girls' school is closed. Albert can unlock it. I think there is a way of getting over. If you use the water pistol, you can jump on a plant which grows if you squirt it with the water pistol. Yeah, it's just uh, yeah, it's a puzzle game, really. But it's such a fun game because you don't have to follow the rules. Ouch. Right, let's, there's Hayley. Let's go over and try and give her a kiss. Get rid of some of my lines. Nope, she's giving me a blank. I've got to be careful because of the headmistress. She doesn't like boys in her school. Nope, she's coming after me. Have that. Oh, I missed. Right, let's... Come on, give me a snog. That's it. That's more like it. See the headmaster there? He's probably having an affair with a headmistress. Is this anything like my school? Not that we had a headmaster and a headmistress. My headmaster actually set light to our school office and ran off with the school funds. True story. And we did have a teacher we called Mr. Well, you, can, you can see the name on there. I'm getting into a lot of trouble now. I've caught a rat. I should have let it go. At this rate, it'll be game over soon. Let's try and get away from her. Of course, this game was sort of remade. I'm pretty sure that uh, Bully was based on these games by Rockstar. Um, I could never get into those. I don't know if it was because it was an American school. But uh, this 
Yeah, at the time I was obviously at school when I played this first of all, and I just found this totally immersive. Um, it, it reminded me of my school a lot. Retro Asylum still mentioned up on the blackboard. Yes, 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 I'm here, I'm here. Right guys, I think this video's gone on long enough. I'll end up playing this all day if I'm not careful. Uh, it's a very hard game to actually review because, at least do commentary on, because it does take a long time to play. But you get the idea. It's a free roaming game set in a school, really playable, very basic looking, but trust me, the playability still holds up today.